Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another review video. Um, now in today's video I don't have a whiskey for you. I am going to be reviewing a gin and um, this gin comes from the Holdfast Distillery. Um, it's one of their latest releases and this is their Man o War um, Navy Strength Gin. Um, so this has been bottled at 58% ABV so it has like a really nice kick to it um, but enough of that said let me um, just pour a little bit into my glass so I can prepare for the tasting and I will start letting you know what I get on this um, for this particular gin so yeah like I said as I mentioned this is a navy strength gin and it has been bottled at 58% so all right Let's see what we get on the nose. So, cheers. Ah, right, so first thing you're gonna notice on the nose is that it has like a nice soft, like lemon myrtle edge coming through, and then some pepper, cardamom. There is a very like I am also getting like a slight. Um, like star anise so it's got like a, a sweet um, like a sweet licorice um, scent something else it's kind of um, syrupy I'm also getting probably like a yeah it'll be like a mild hint of like toffee so think of like a like a burnt like caramelized um, sugar type of thing yeah so let's move on to the palette and let's see what we get so cheers first thing you will notice is that this is not a subtle gin it gives you a straight up excellent mouthfeel it is very, um, like, very spicy, very peppery. Um, expect to be, I guess, initially expect to be like knocked back. I mean, if you have, um, if you have tried the like standard um, dry style gin from Holdfast, you will notice that is, it's quite soft and gentle. Um, this one goes into a completely different spectrum. I mean, it will punch you if you're not expecting. Um, which is, say, so it's a, a really nice change in a gin. This has actually been, I think, the first, I guess, Navy Strength gin that I have tried. So, other gins that I've tried in the past have usually been a bit more of, uh, coming from a bit more of a gentle side. And for me, I guess coming from more of a like a whiskey drinking background, I have become used to, I guess more like cask strength styles of whiskies and higher ABVs. And I guess this gave me something different from a gin that I have never experienced before. So I guess that was a very enjoyable aspect of this. So again, for the taste, Definitely expect uh, more of that um, that lemon. Um, yeah, so it's more citric. Definitely, definitely pepper. Um, that lemon myrtle note that I was getting on the nose. It's not so much of a on the palate. It's not so much of a lemon myrtle. It tastes a lot more. I guess like a a fresh lemon moving along into more of like a into like lime territory that kind of thing um, again that um, I guess that burnt toffee note it's not there anymore it is more likely that it's just um, like lemon and pepper um, those are the two main dominant notes but then I'm also getting a very subtle hint of that um, that anise and also like the cardamom and some of those like baking spice um, style of notes that come through um, on the finish, um, initially expect something a bit rough. I mean, it does it does hit um, it does it does hit your throat. Um, it is very very warming, uh, but that actually fades away and comes along to a nice 
like I guess like a soft like gentle burn <laughs> if that makes sense it's actually quite enjoyable and then again just more of those um, again more of those like citric notes um, lemon lime that, that star anise and the cardamom so pretty much a lot of the flavors that you get from the beginning of this gin actually follow well um, extremely well from the from beginning to end um, the flavor profile has a nice balance to it I don't think it's trying to be something that it's not it is just a um, I guess it's it's just a, a hard-hitting gin that just delivers in the right way um, for me I have found that this has been so it has been an enjoyable um, sipper to have uh, like just neat but where it really shines is in a in a like in a gin and tonic um, just pretty much like pick your favorite gin I know for me whenever I do a gin and tonic I love to use fresh lime and that fresh lime or lime also helps to open up uh, more of the flavor and I guess the one good thing having such intense flavor and also a higher ABV um, you can use less of it in your in your cocktail but still have intense beautiful flavor as well so uh, again um, guys another fantastic job another incredible gin and I can't wait to see what else you will bring out um, we'll say what else you bring out in the future so yeah that's it my name is Andrew and I'll see you all again on the next video get this